Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. new to my channel my name is ali i upload four videos a week recently only three beauty bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into this video so for today's video i actually have a foundation comparison for you guys and it's going to be a wear test and all that good jazz i have them both on my face right now and i actually have the urban decay stay naked high hydro maniac tinted glow hydrator and it just says medium coverage up to 24 hour and then i also and then i have the wet and wild tinted hydrator and this is their bare focus line and this is their tinted skin veil so we have one that says sheer to medium coverage and one that's supposed to be just straight up medium coverage so let's go ahead and get into this video and see what i thought but first first i want you to pause this video and let me know what side you think which one is on are these is it this way is it this way is it this way like this way like what side like which side do you think is which like let me know down below before you finish watching this video but yeah let's go ahead and get into the application of this you guys and i just really hope that you enjoyed today's review and wear test all right, yeah, so we are gonna go ahead and get into applying these tinted hydrators. And they both are actually called tinted hydrators. This one just has the word glow, and this one says tinted skin, tinted hydrator, tinted skin veil. So I wanna read the claims on both of them just so that way we have like that information out there. Okay, so the claims on the Wet n Wild say this oil-free protect perfector delivers hydrating benefits in a, buildable, in a buildable sheer to medium tint for a flawless, softly luminous complexion. Hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalene help promote healthy looking, supple, moisturized skin. Okay, and then on the front, it just says that it has hyaluronic acid, squalene, oil-free, and sheer to medium coverage. So this one, it doesn't say anything about having an SPF. So let's go ahead and also in the Wet n Wild one, I have the, sh excuse me, I have the shade Medium Tan, and in the Urban Decay one, I have the shade Light to Medium 40. So the claims on this one are up to 24 hour, 24 hour hydration lasting all day, lasting all day moisture. Skin is significant, significantly hydrated after 24 hours, up to a 24 hour glow, dewy, juicy, dewy, juicy finish, healthy looking skin glow up to 24 hour wear. Weightless, medium coverage, looks fresh all day, has kombucha filtrate and marula oil, vegan formula, does not contain animal derived ingredients or products. And the Wet n Wild one is actually vegan as well. So there's not actually like actual any claims and I don't see that this one has an SPF in it either. So neither one of them have an SPF or anything like that. We are going to be using the same sponge, just two different colors on each side of my face. So these are actually from my brand. My boys like to bite my sponges. But, so the primers I actually have on my face are my e.l.f. Um, Poreless Face Primer, my Hard Candy Hydrating Primer, and then the NYX Bear With Me Spray. And the reason that I didn't want to go in with my Priming Essence from Touch & Soul, for one, I think it's breaking me out, and that's causing breakouts. And for two, I've worn both of these, and both of these are very, 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 very dewy, even for me being someone who leans more normal to dry. So I can already tell you guys that if you are oily, you may wanna use super mattifying products or just stay away from it altogether. So we are gonna go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild one on the left side of my face. And that's just how much we're taking right there. I'm gonna keep my sponges separate. So we're going in with the Wet n Wild one first. So this one already, um, I've worn both of them, like I've said, and I can already tell you that the Wet n Wild one does not have as much coverage as the Urban Decay one. So I know I already know just to get the coverage that to match, I'm gonna have to go in with multiple layers of the Wet n Wild one. And we're taking just about the same exact amount that we took the first time. And that is just 
what one layer looks like of the wet and wild one is as you can see like it didn't do very much like it covered up lighter spots on my face but you can still see where these breakouts are healing a lot of freckles like it didn't do anything for this line right here so let's go ahead and add a second layer and i am someone who does prefer to apply makeup products with um a sponge like base products rather than um a brush i don't know that's just me so my forehead never really has too much going on with it i just have some freckles up there so i never really need that much coverage okay so after a second layer you can see we kind of have light coverage so with one layer it was really really sheer coverage the second layer we have light coverage now this one just says straight up medium coverage that's what the urban decay one says is that it's just straight up medium coverage. I don't even think it says light to medium. Where did I just read? Yeah, weightless medium coverage. So this doesn't say anything about light. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and, you know what, no, no, no. Now we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay one on my right side of my face and just compare the two. I really think that, and we're taking about the same amount that we took of the Wet n Wild one. All right, so now we are going in with the Wet n Wild one and I can already tell you like, and you can tell that the color is already gonna be off. But like I said, taking a different sponge, you can see this one's clean and this one's dirty. And we're gonna apply this one to the right side of my face. Now, when I first got this one, I thought the color was gonna be wrong because it has really, really strong like peachy orangey undertones, but that's actually probably pretty good if you have some dark spots that you need to cover up. And I did this, I wore this one yesterday. Or not yesterday, mm, Tuesday. Okay, so we see with the Urban Decay one, it immediately gives us light coverage upon one layer. So we didn't have a sheer layer, a sheer layer at all with the Urban Decay. It went straight into light. And with this and with the Wet n Wild one, I had to apply two layers in order just to get the light coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more layer of both of those. And like I said, using two different sponges and you can see here, you can see here the difference in the undertones. So the Wet n Wild one is a little bit more neutral, if you will. It's not as strong of a pink, pinky peach undertone as the Urban Decay one. Okay, and now you see after three layers, we finally have medium coverage on the wet and wild side. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in on the Urban Decay side and see if we get medium coverage after this second layer. Okay, so I just wanted you guys to see we did go ahead and get the medium coverage on the Urban Decay side after um, one lay after two layers. I'm sorry. So after two layers on the Urban Decay side, we did end up with medium coverage, and on the Wet and Wild side, it took me applying it three times, and it's. And I wouldn't, I, I would apply, I would say the amount that I applied is very, very similar to like one pump of a foundation. And you know, like you just kind of eyeball it. So maybe like a dime sized amount whenever you squeeze it out because they are both squeezy tubes. So even then in the, let's see how much product you get. So in the wet and wild one, you get zero, 0.91 fluid ounces. So most standard foundation sizes you get your full one fluid ounce and you don't get that like you're you're lacking just a little bit with the wet and like 0.09 fluid ounces 
in the wet and wild one to get that one fluid ounce and in the urban decay one sorry showing you the back and the urban decay one you get 1.1 fluid ounces this is what we do have and now i am going to go ahead and finish applying my makeup but before i do that i do want to say you guys that the application other than the colors they differ just a little bit once the urban decay side actually sets down that peach tone that it has is not as strong as whenever you first apply it and the colors actually really match really well so depending on if you're similar to my shade and like we're twinsies in the wet and wild one like i said i have medium tan and in the urban decay one i have light medium so that does kind of show you just how kind of crappy the wet and wild shade range is i did so at target and on walmart and things like that and Ulta, there's only eight shades available of the Wet n Wild one. But if you go to the Wet n Wild website, there's actually 12 shades available. So I mean, four more, still not a ton, but it's a lot better than eight shades. 12 is a lot better than eight. And so I do want to see how many shades there is of the Urban Decay Skin Tint for you guys. And there is, let's see. Oh, so they're actually literally the same, you guys. So there's 12 shades of the Wet n Wild one and 12 shades of the Urban Decay one. So at this point, it's like, can you knock Wet n Wild for having 12 shades? Like, yes, in a sense, because the difference between the two brands is that Wet n Wild is going to have 12 shades and a lot of them leaning more towards medium to light. Whereas Urban Decay's 12 shades go all across the spectrum. You, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, but there are 12 shades av available for both of these foundations. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and just do a time lapse of me applying the rest of my makeup. I know that you guys really, really like these whenever I do uh, like do foundation reviews. And don't worry, you guys, I will be doing a wear test on the Urban Decay one by itself. If that one's not up already, just know that it's coming because I know that I have a wear test already up on the Tinted Hydrator by itself. So it's only fair that I do the Wet and Wild, the Urban Decay one by itself as well. But for now, let's go ahead and just get into doing the rest of our makeup.
All right, you guys, so this is it with all of the makeup going on. So we almost had a mishap with the blush because your girl is excess and put way too much. And I know, and I know some of you who have used them for beauty blushes were probably like, ooh, girl, you put a lot on and hmm, your girl knows better now. But anyways, this is, I feel like everything blended in exactly the same. They're like, both sides are looking exactly the same like like it's almost insane because you see here you can still see like some darkness peeking through where it's just powder and the skin tint and then on the same thing here you can see this one peeking through where it's just the powder and the skin tint um it looks so smooth like literally my chin looks exactly the same on both sides. Like the shininess doesn't even look like it's two different products. And the forehead is more matte than anything um, aside from where, I don't even know why I put highlighter above my brows anymore because you can't ever even see it because of my bangs. And also, am I too grown to be doing space buns? <laughs> I had such a conflict with myself this morning. Like, Allie, you're 28. Don't do the space buns. Well, I was like, but the space buns are so cute. And so I did them anyways. But I don't know. Am I too grown to be trying to have some space buns sitting on my head? Or, like, does it not matter? Anyways, back to the makeup. But yeah, you guys, this is what everything is looking like with the um, makeup all done and everything being done and like i said i feel like it looks exactly the same on both sides even as a color like once the urban decay one set down i feel like it matched the color of the wet and wild one perfectly so like i said if you are my shade i'm light medium in the urban decay one and i'm medium tan in the wet and wild one but we are gonna go ahead and do like check-ins and just see how both sides are holding up throughout the day as always but yeah you guys so i will see you guys you know at my next check-in it is currently 10 i finished my makeup at 10 30. so i'll probably be taking off my makeup around 9 30 10 o'clock so about an 11 to 12 hour wear test and we will see i will try to prolong it till 10 30 for you guys but i don't know because your girl be tired but ethan don't have school in the morning so i can kind of stay up late so yeah i'll let you guys know i do plan on working out today because your girl's just trying to get back into her fitness after the tooth surgery but yeah i'll see you guys at my next check-in all right you guys so can you see me oh i'm zoomed in i think i don't know weird okay anyways this is my six hour check-in it's 5 30 10 30 or 10 30 11 30 12 30 1 2 3 4 5 seven hour check-in kept forgetting to check in but literally i just sat down edited and filmed all day i just barely finished my workout 40 minutes upper body hit with sydney cummings because y'all these arms are not the bee's knees so i'm working on that but they're getting toned and it feels good to be back working out this week consistently the original plan that brian and i said that we were going to work out because my goal for the year was to work out. You know, this has nothing to do with the foundation check-in. Anyways, let's get back to that. Um, so this is what everything is looking like. The nose. So this side's the wet and wild side. And this side is the urban decay side. And if you ask me. Wait, if you ask me. They're looking exactly the same. Even the area around the nose the wet and wild side who's calling me but overall both sides are looking just about exactly the same i just feel like this side has a little bit more glow like in this area than this side like i'm saying like they both both sides have a glow but this side let's check the forehead out i'll be forgetting because the forehead is still super matte on both sides so i don't know i don't know understand why i get mostly oily in this area but the forehead is looking really good on both sides and there's not even a crease right here where i usually get a crease so yeah it's looking good you guys this is a seven hour check-in right after a workout 
So yeah, so far they're wearing exactly the same. Just right here on this side is a little more cakey than on this side. Other than that, guys, they're exactly the same so far. So we got some more hours left in the day. I'm about to go finish up dinner and then I will check back in with you guys right before I get in the shower. So yeah. All right, you guys, so this is the final check-in. We've had this on for about 10 hours now. Yeah, for about 10 hours, I believe. I don't know. We've had it on for about 10 hours. Oh, well, no. 10 and a half? I don't know. 9.30. 10 like nine and a half hours and this is just what the final look is looking like you guys i feel like this didn't budge at all today like my makeup still looks like when i put it on and i think that's amazing so my final thoughts is you guys like this side is still a little bit oily, more oily than this side, just a smidge. So I would say, I mean, if you want to save your dollars, I would just go with the Wet n Wild one. But I mean, you guys seen like the finish is the same, the coverage is the same, the way it wears is the same, and they both last all day long. But I mean, I just want to spoil myself, so that's why I got both. But I mean, if you're not in that position, I would definitely just go with the Wet n Wild one. That one's five dollars. And the Urban Decay one is 29 So yeah, that's my final thoughts on this wear test. I hope that you guys enjoy, guys enjoyed this. And yeah, see you guys in my next wear test. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're thinking about picking up either one of these skin tints and which one you will go with. How do you guys feel about the shade range? Like, do you feel like one's better than the other even though they both only have 12 shades? Like, let me know your thoughts down below. If you're oily, are you kind of just staying away from these? Like, I, as somebody who leans normal, more dry, I say that these tend to get a little bit extra dewy on my skin but i've also switched up my skincare a little bit so that could be playing a reason in why it's so dewy on me as well so yeah you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah!